Today in the world of cannabis, the nation's first medical cannabis research study begins in France. New York state lawmakers reach a final deal on recreational cannabis policy, and the head of South Dakota's unofficial cannabis caucus shares hopeful news about oncoming medical cannabis policy in the state. It's Tuesday, March 30th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, in a report by Modern Ghana, in the country of France, a physician has written the nation's first medical cannabis prescription, marking the beginning of a two-year study with 3,000 participants, which might contribute to countrywide medical cannabis legalization. In France, cannabis is illegal, including for medical reasons but activists have been campaigning for years to have it approved for pain relief. Because cannabis cultivation is also illegal in France, the prescriptions were imported. The study will provide results from 170 hospitals, as per the French Medicine Authority, or ANSM. Patients will be qualified for cannabis therapy only if other medications have failed to relieve their symptoms or have caused too many side effects. Multiple types of epilepsy, neuropathic pain, chemotherapy effects, the need for palliative treatment, and pain associated with multiple sclerosis are among the symptoms that qualify an individual for cannabis treatment. For children with refractory epilepsy or cancer, cannabis therapy can also be prescribed. Once the effectiveness and side effects are identified in the study, it may be approved for use for all patients who qualify. And next, the Associated Press reports that over the weekend, New York lawmakers reached a final decision on statewide recreational cannabis legalization after multiple years of deliberation and past attempts. State Democrats are more hopeful for this attempt because their majority holding in the legislature blocks the possibility of a veto. The policy would broaden the current medical cannabis system while also creating a regulatory and tax structure for recreational cannabis transactions. The measure is scheduled to be voted on by legislators today at the earliest. In addition to permitting cannabis use for adults, the measure would also establish a licensed framework for cannabis product delivery. New York residents may cultivate three mature and three immature plants for home use. Local municipalities would have the option to disallow recreational cannabis sales. If approved, the measure would take effect instantly, but retail would not begin before New York develops regulations and a cannabis council. Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People stokes predicted that retail could begin in 18 months to two years. And last up, in a report by Mitchell Republic, Even after Governor Kristi Noem's unsuccessful efforts to postpone the creation of a medical cannabis system in South Dakota, Representative Mike Derby, leader of the state legislature's unofficial cannabis caucus, predicts the state will be able to issue its first prescriptions for medical cannabis as planned by November 18, 2021. In November 2020, roughly 70% of voters supported Initiated Measure 26, which established a medical cannabis program. South Dakota would have had just over a year to plan for the distribution of the first medical cannabis prescriptions since the approval of IM-26. Many states took at least a year to 18 months to completely enact a new medical cannabis program, according to experts. For example, North Dakota's medical cannabis policy took almost two years to develop. In late March, Governor Noem's administration introduced a number of modifications to IM-26 that incorporated a home cultivation cap for patients of three cannabis plants and a restriction on smokable cannabis for patients under the age of 21 years. Not included in NOAM's submitted amendments, a postponement of the program's commencement. That was today's Buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or Careers in Cannabis, wherever you get your podcasts. For Trichomes.com, I'm David Fortin. And I'm Devin Liao. Have a great day.